Hi, welcome to College Soccer Recruiting Insider Secrets. I was a Division I women's college soccer coach for 20 years. And during that time watching videos, I used to get the old VHS tapes, then we expanded to DVDs, and now of course it's links. While the content and the technology and the method has been so much better, sometimes the content needs a lot of work. I'm gonna show you today some tips of how to make a video that's a blockbuster for college coaches. Okay, welcome back to College Soccer Recruiting Insider Secrets, and we're gonna talk about how to make a blockbuster video that college coaches will love to see. One thing I wanna tell you first about is having our guest college coach today is Coach Brandon from Nebraska Wesleyan. He's the men's coach there. It's a Division III school in Lincoln, Nebraska. Coach Brandon, take it away. So this is one of my favorite topics to uh, discuss. We get thousands of emails all the time uh, in the college world with kids trying to get noticed by, by college coaches. You need something that stands out. So immediately we think video. But the secret with video is sometimes less is more. You need to make it attractive for us to want to watch. So grainy footage, stuff in the rain, you know, super windy where we're hearing all the, the background noise or when we're hearing parents cheer, maybe not the right stuff. Um, something where I'm watching, you know, 10 minutes of warm up just to get to the substance, probably not the way to go. Something as simple as highlight clips is fantastic. So you on the ball, what you're doing, how you're impacting the game. If you're a goal scorer, please show us scoring goals, not just being involved in the play. Yes, a lot of coaches want to see off ball movement. That's something you can kind of tease in your video. So you say, hey, coaches, if you'd love to see more, I've got plenty more videos. I've got full games that you can watch with, from a zoomed out tactical view. I've got um, the ability for you to see my stuff off the ball. I can show you assist. I can show you defensive work. All of those things can be encapsulated, but five minutes should be max unless the coach is asking for more. So again, sometimes short and sweet wins the race here, um, but make it something eye-catching, appealing to watch, and most of all, make it about showing off yourself. Okay, hey, Brent, Coach Brandon, thank you so much. Usually we have two coaches on this uh, episode of College Soccer Recruiting Insider Secrets, but you did such a great job. I think we're just going to stick to you. You've said it all. Perfect. And what we'll do now is we'll highlight what you spoke about and kind of expand on those. So here's six tips to help you make an unbelievable blockbuster video for those college coaches. Okay, here we go with tip number one of our six tips. Usually when you watch a great movie, the final scenes, those are the action scenes, that's where all the excitement is. But when you send a video to the college coach, your best stuff needs to be first. Put your best stuff first, okay? So as, as Brand, Coach Brandon said, get to, it, get to it right away. Don't make them wait a long time. Put your best stuff in the very beginning of your video. Okay, here's tip two. It's uh, audio. First thing about audio is no sound. We don't need to hear any commentary from the parents, as Brandon might said. If you want to put music in, do it, but don't. It's not needed. Most coaches will delete the sound when they watch your, your video. The second thing about the video is the height. The higher up off the ground, the better. So if it's 10, 15, 20, 30 feet off the ground, that's ideal to, uh, for the ideal height. As long as the coaches can see about a third of the field, a third of the field and you at the same time, that's usually the pr uh, preferred method of watching you play. The second thing is length. If you Google it, you can find that the most popular YouTube videos are five minutes or less. And as Coach Brandon said, five minutes or less. So keep that video short and sweet. That's tip two. Here we are, tip three. Coach Brandon talked about clips versus uh, highlight clips or full game. Again, just a little series of highlight clips is all they want. This first email you're gonna send in this video is trying to get their interest. Later, they'll probably ask for a full game. You can show it there. It, by the way, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose that game. And goalkeepers, one thing to keep in mind is show action stuff. Show them you get catching crosses, saving shots, those kind of things. A lot of times goalkeepers spend a lot of time on drills and we don't wanna see that. We wanna see the action. Okay, tip four, bundle your skills. And what I mean by that is put together two or three clips of yourself dribbling, two or three clips of yourself heading a soccer ball, shooting a soccer, uh, anything like that. Put them in th that order so the coach can go through and look and see what it is. I know a Power 5 conference school that when they look at your video, they'll ask you to send another video if you don't put your heading skills in. Heading is one of the most important things to them. So again, put those in little clips and that'll be the easiest. Okay, tip number five, what format? How do you send the email with the video to the coach? The preferred method in YouTube, you guys owe me some money for this one, is using YouTube. 
YouTube is the easiest way because people can get it on their phone, their home computer, their office computer. They can find it in all different ways, and so I recommend it. You don't have to publish the link. You can make it a private link. There are other methods that work. There's nothing against them, but you just don't know if the college coach is going to open up your email and, and then your video on his phone, whatever it is. And so you want to make it as easy as possible. So my suggestion is use YouTube. All right, YouTube, pay up for that endorsement. Okay, listen, you've sent a video to the coach. Fantastic. But they are not going to open it just because you sent a video. Keep in mind, they have videos of their games, of their own teams to watch, games of their opponents they're going to watch, other people who are writing them. So what makes it work is your email. So uh, email is like a movie trailer. Think when you go to the movies, you like to see the previews, and then you see previews for other movies, and you decide, I'm going to see that movie or I'm not going to see that movie. That's what your email is going to do. How do you write a good email? Well, if you don't know, check one of our last episodes of how to write an email to a college coach. It tells you how you can do it in three easy paragraphs. So again, the email sets up as the reason they'll watch your video. Send a good email. Okay, that concludes our episode. First and foremost, I want to thank Coach Brandon. He did a fantastic job, talked, touched on all the great points of sending a, a video to college coaches. If you have any other questions about sending a video to a college coach or anything about the recruiting process, feel free to email me at the address below. Also, if you like this episode, there's plenty more. Be sure to subscribe so you can catch the latest edition of College Soccer Recruiting Insider the Secrets. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to hearing about your great videos, and good luck. <laughs>